Congressman? Yes. Thank you, sir. Tell him, come on in, Mr. Bundy. Yes, sir, and Congressman Teague of Texas on 9-2. I know how much trouble that you've got on this uh, poverty for me, but uh, Walter indicated that uh, if we, if it meant the difference, that you'd go there, and I, I appreciate it, and I'll make it up with interest. I don't know how, but I'll start tomorrow. Uh, anywhere in the world that I can well, get even with you, I sure do it, because I appreciate the guts it takes. But I want you to talk to some of these uh, folks uh, like you that look to you. Uh, uh, if they rule me on this one, it'd be just like uh, the, when they beat Roosevelt. I'll lose my leadership to Charlie Halleck, but I'll never get that tall back. And uh, this is the only bill i got to have this year. They can take the rest of them. I don't care about uh, I want them. I'd like to have Appalachia, but they can vote against it if they have to. Uh, I'd like to have uh, ARA, but they can vote against it if they have to. Uh, this one... If I don't get it, I'm in deep trouble as far as being leader of this country is concerned, and they ought to vote against me now. And, and it doesn't do any good for some of these liberals to go around and say that. They can't get any votes. But if you can say it to two or three folks, so you can make the difference, and we're within five votes of winning this thing. Well, Mr. President, I don't want to vote for the bill, but if my vote means passion, I'm going to vote for it. I know Walter told me that. And I'll talk to uh, uh, for these others. In fact, I already have. I'll run, them, run these kids out of... The ears at A&M, though, with this bill, it'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be a real thing for old Earl Rudder. I'll put enough stuff down there that I got to, they'll, they'll be calling the old old and Teague College. Well, I've talked to them, and I've told them that I'm on a team, and that uh, I owe some obligation to the Democratic Party. And as bad as I'd hate to, if it's it's means for me to stand up and, and change the vote and say I'm voting for it to pass it, I'll damn sure do it. Cliff and Walter told me that, and I'll never forget you. But you can help me with Joe is. Uh, Wants to help. He's a good boy, but uh, he, he's going to leave, and he's afraid some of his clients will be mad, and he doesn't want to vote for the bill to begin with. And, uh, I'm not so sure. I've talked to Joe, and I think Joe may vote for it. Well, he he's, wants to help. He wants to help like you, but he's got lots of problems, and they're raising hell. And George Mahon's uh, worried, and if George Mahon... Uh, Clark Thompson should go against me. Why, then I just had it. I want you to get around that delegation and talk a little. I don't want to be coming up there because they'll be quarreling with me. And I just, uh, I was up till 2 o'clock last night. I've been up to up to New York today. But this is a vote I just can't take. I just lose all my leadership if I do. And I've got to depend on two or three of you that are conservative to get out there and twist some risk because... Their future is better with me than is Charlie Halleck. I guarantee you that. Now tell some of our Texas boys that, and if they can't vote for me, let them get away and not embarrass me, because I have to explain to every state in the Union uh, that I lost my Texans. And tell old uh, Burley and uh, Walter Rogers, they have to just please go fishing or something. Don't give me a pair for somebody that's sick or something. But you just try to get that delegation lined up. Some of these liberals can't do it, but uh, you can if you work at it. They do, and I'll give you two hours for one. For every one you certify you spend on me between now and Friday, I'll double it. I'll try. Thank you, Tiger. Call me and tell me what you hear and who I might be able to talk to. I'll do it. Thank you, Tiger. Hello. 